back to my channel. Today's video we are doing another episode of Tarot Unsolved and today we are going to be doing it on the phenomena of Bigfoot. So we're going to be talking about Bigfoot. It's a urban legend, a conspiracy theory, it's a cryptid. So there's a lot of different things that people believe about Bigfoot. I thought we would do a more lighthearted, fun kind of Tarot Unsolved this time because last time we did the um, Amityville Horror and that one was heavy so I thought we would lighten it up a little bit with something that's still you know spooky Halloweeny and fun but it's just not as dark. Um, I might probably do that from now on kind of switch up the super dark ones with some lighter hearted ones. So Bigfoot, I, I've kind of gone back and forth on if I believe in Bigfoot or not. Um, I, I want to believe in Bigfoot. I think it's really cool. Cryptids, I really like cryptids. I really like the idea of them. Um, so I don't know, we're gonna see. I'm really excited to see what we get on Bigfoot today. So this series, if you're new here, it's where I ask my tarot cards about life's biggest unsolved mysteries. Um, I've kind of been also putting paranormal cases into this because paranormal stuff is like, is a big passion of mine. So especially during the month of October, I've been doing paranormal cases, um, paranormal myths or folk legends. So if you have anything that you would like me to talk about, please let me know down below. Um, only doing like paranormal or big life mysteries like I did Atlantis. I've done Area 51. So just things along those lines. I'm not doing true crime. I'm not doing um, political or like celebrity readings. This is just fun like life mysteries. And now I feel like I want to do some more cryptids. So I'm going to read you a little bit about Bigfoot if you haven't heard of who Bigfoot is. And then we will get into the reading. So Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch, is a purported ape-like creature said to inhabit the forests of North America. Many dubious articles have been offered in attempts to prove the existence of Bigfoot, including anecdotal claims of visual observations as well as alleged video and audio recordings, photographs, and casts of large footprints. Some are known or admitted hoaxes. Tales of wild, hairy humanoids exist throughout the world, and such creatures appear in the folklore of North America, including the myth mythologies of indigenous people. Bigfoot is an icon within the fringe subculture of cryptozoology and an enduring element of popular culture. The majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted the existence of Bigfoot, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore, misidentification, and hoax, rather than a living animal. Folklorists trace the phenomena of Bigfoot to a combination of factors and sources, including indigenous cultures, the European wild man figure, and folk tales, wishful thinking, a cultural increase in environmental concerns, and overall societal awareness of the subject have been cited as additional factors. Other creatures of relatively similar descriptions are alleged to inhabit various regions throughout the world, such as the skunk ape of the southeastern United States, the Almes, Yaren, and Yeti in Asia, and the Australian Yowie, all of which, like Bigfoot, are ingrained in the cultures of their regions. So, um, Bigfoot, it has a lot of different names for different people. It's like, it seems like every kind of culture has some kind of a Bigfoot in, in their history, like something, some kind of big ape-like figure that roams the wildlife where they are. I live in the middle of the woods, so I, <laughs> in North America, so I, you know, I, maybe one day I'll see Bigfoot, I don't know. So, um, I feel like, so, I've been watching a lot of paranormal caught on camera over the past year, and there's a lot of, like, Bigfoot footage on there, so I feel like I've gotten to see more of the footage that's out there of Bigfoot, hear more about Bigfoot um, than I have really in the past. So I don't know, I, I wanna believe, but we're gonna ask the tarot and see what tarot has to say. So I have four questions here that I wanna ask the tarot. I have number one, is Bigfoot real? Obviously I wanna ask that. Number two, how much of the evidence out there is a hoax? Like 
compared to genuine, like somebody genuinely thinking they're seeing Bigfoot, and then people who are going out of their way to make it a um, a hoax, like they they're purposely faking it. Number three is Bigfoot a creature from another realm. I'm somebody who believes in the paranormal. I believe in alternate dimensions, alternate realms, and so I feel like a lot of this these cryptids or these spirits we see can be explained by them coming into our realm um, for a short amount of time and then going back to where they came from. And so that's why we only see them for a short a period of time. So number four, will we have concrete evidence of Bigfoot in this lifetime? So those are the four questions I wanna ask the tarot um, and then we'll go from there. Like I always usually get some questions that I want to ask after we lay out our tarot cards and then um, we ask some more questions. So the main tarot deck I'm going to be using to answer these questions is the Halloween tarot. Of course, it's Halloween season. I have my Memento Mori Oracle, which I use all the time for these readings. I also have my um, Ghosts and Spirits tarot, which I feel like might give us some more info because this the imagery in here, it's just, it's really expansive. Um, and then I have my Darkness Oracle, which is my Oracle. So we'll see what we get from that one. So I'm going to start off by shuffling this tarot deck and we're going to ask the tarot the questions. Okay, so number one is Bigfoot real. Is Bigfoot real? Number two, how much evidence is a hoax? How much of the evidence out there is a hoax? Okay. Is Bigfoot a creature from another realm? Is Bigfoot a creature from another realm? Number four, will we have concrete evidence of Bigfoot in this lifetime? Okay. So I've got my four cards here, so we're just gonna go through it. Number one is Bigfoot real. Let's see what we got. We got the three of pumpkins. <sighs> to me, honestly, this makes me think like Bigfoot has become this giant sensation because of everybody pitching in somehow. So Three of Pentacles is all about like working together or working as a team. And so I feel like just collectively we've kind of created or put Bigfoot up on this pedestal because of everybody inputting something, right? So I feel like this is more of the energy of like we've created Bigfoot in a way. Like we've blown it up into this huge thing, into this huge pop, pop culture kind of a um a phenomena right we we talk about it all the time we um we talk about different theories there's so many different t tv shows where they're trying to hunt bigfoot or different um you know videos out there of people's experiences with bigfoot so i feel like bigfoot is a collective energy that we've kind of created um so this doesn't, I don't know, it's like Bigfoot is real in our lives because we've put him there, but the tarot is not telling me if he's like concrete real. So maybe we'll get some more answers later on because I do ask, will we have concrete evidence of Bigfoot in the future? So maybe I'll get a little bit clearer. But when you ask a question like, is Bigfoot real? It's like, well, the idea of Bigfoot is real. So I think the tarot is kind of playing with me there. So number two, how much evidence out there is a hoax? So we got three of bats. Betrayal. So I feel like a lot of it out there is a hoax. Um, a lot of people are doing it with um, intentions to, you know, be famous or to have like a really viral video. So I feel like when I think three of swords, I think betrayal. So I feel like a lot of what we see is not genuine with the Bigfoot uh, evidence. Interesting. Number three, is Bigfoot a creature from another realm? We have five of imps.
it's interesting. This is like the conflict card fighting. I do feel like this image to me feels very otherworldly. It feels like a different dimension. Um, like it feels like this, this, they're like on the moon or something. Doesn't it look like they're fighting on the moon and the moon's up there and it's like, what are you guys doing? But yeah, so I do think Bigfoot could be a creature from another realm. Like I do think he could possibly exist in another dimension. Really interesting. Um, maybe that's not because this is like the fighting card and maybe whoever is in charge there or like, I feel like there's conflict about entering our realm. Like maybe some people think that we they shouldn't be doing it. Like whoever's in charge there says, don't go do that. And then they kind of do it anyway. Interesting. But yeah, I definitely do think he could be from another realm. So number four, will we have concrete evidence of Big Bigfoot in this lifetime? Temperance. This makes me think yes. I was not expecting this because like the cards leading up to this was very much um, like kind of further proving what I think about Bigfoot but this person has like all of this like all of these little um jars and things that have let's see if I can block my face you can see jars and things with little labels like we have tomb dust and we have finest bat wool and we have like specimens so I feel like there will be some kind of concrete evidence that leads like scientists or people of science to believe in Bigfoot. Really interesting. This this reading is like going places I didn't expect it to because the beginning of it is like, yeah, like Bigfoot's real because we created this this kind of phenomenon, this icon of Bigfoot. And then we have three of bats, which is like the hoax part of it, right? A lot of it's hoaxes. Five of imps, I do feel like it's this otherworldly kind of a entity temperance i with all of that evidence i do think we'll have some kind of concrete evidence of bigfoot in this lifetime interesting okay so i don't really have specific questions for the oracle i just want to see what else comes up about bigfoot because it seems and sometimes the cases i talk about are like this but it seems like the tarot is like there are some secrets the tarot will not reveal to me sometimes and I feel like this is one of them where it's kind of like there's a lot of mystery or confusion around it and so it's hard to get a clear answer. Um, really interesting. I feel like when I'm working with spirits or like paranormal cases involving people it's a it's it's a different kind of energy this is very like ambiguous I feel like so oh. all right so we got three cards that flew out literally so we have memento mori we have watch and we have fish okay so Right off the bat with Memento Mori, this makes me think, which Memento Mori means remember death. And this makes me think that we'll find like an actual physical corpse of Bigfoot, right? Some kind of um, bones or some kind of evidence that way, because it does say that we're going to be getting concrete evidence of Bigfoot. So what kind of evidence? Um, bones or something of that nature. Watch. This makes me think, I mean, it's talking about time. So eventually I feel like we will in time get evidence of Bigfoot. But I feel like watch is talking about literally waiting and watching. So there's going to be some kind of payoff with people who literally devote their lives to this, who watch Bigfoot all the time, who have cameras up all the time, who are constantly just watching areas where Bigfoot has been spotted. That is going to pay off, I think, in the long run. And then we have fish, which immediately made me think of like Bigfoot's food. So some kind of, I feel like there will be evidence of some kind of like a camp or like a cooking area, something where Bigfoot's food is involved will show up as evidence as well. Maybe DNA on like half eaten food or something like that. So really, really interesting. Um, 
there. I'm going to pull one card from Ghosts and Spirits just because maybe they can give us a little insight, especially to this like fighting in the other realm that we saw with the five of uh, wands, which is really interesting. So maybe that'll give us some more insight there. Um, So we have two of swords. Let me look at this for a minute. This image is giving me like guardian spirit vibes. Like Bigfoot's a guardian spirit of the, the woods almost. So it's this very like friendly, wise, kind of all-knowing energy. So maybe Bigfoot's a little more enlightened than we, we give credit to, right? He's not just a big, dumb ape creature. So, um, I mean, I think they would have to be smart if they're going to elude us for so long, the species, this entity, whatever it may be, they have to have some kind of smarts. I think to evade us for this long. So I'm just going to pull from the darkness Oracle, see if there's any other additional messages we need to know about Bigfoot. All right. So I got three cards. We have travel, Ritual and Sovereignty. So travel. They travel between realms, genuinely. That's what I'm getting with this card. I think Bigfoot is traveling between realms or can travel in a way that we can't. Like, like can teleport maybe and that's why they can be gone just like that and you don't find any evidence of them as they move around constantly um and then we have ritual which again i think this is speaking to people who devote their lives to this again like they are creating a ritual around bigfoot and maybe could summon him or call him in in a way um that gives us that concrete evidence and then we have sovereignty which again this brings up the like guardian of the wood kind of uh energy i got with this card like bigfoot is very um again smart but knows what they they rule over like it seems like they kind of rule over or are a spirit in charge of like these certain areas almost they're kind of this royalty in their own right. So very interesting. Um, that is what we're going to uh, end this video with for Bigfoot. This was really, really fun to do. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other cryptids you want me to go into, I definitely could. Um, I know, like I, I wanna do Slenderman. I know Slenderman is like the proved hoax, but I really think that would be fun. Um, yeah. I don't know, uh, Mothman, I would love to do that. So let me know if there's any other cryptids you guys want to see or any other kind of videos you want to see in this topic for Tarot Unsolved, um, anything paranormal or big, big mysteries. I definitely want to do the pyramids. I want to do Stonehenge. I want to do the Bermuda Triangle eventually. So yeah. But I hope you guys are enjoying Halloween, enjoying spooky season. If you would like a personal reading from me, I do offer them down in my Etsy shop. I have Halloween themed readings, which are discounted right now. So definitely scoop one of those up if you want a Halloween themed reading. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.